Their actions are confusing, to say the least. I don't appreciate being left in the dark. Does the Supreme Commander share these concerns, Chancellor? He does not, but that is hardly... The two of us have been fighting this war for quite some time now. We know what we're doing, and we appreciate your trust in us. Just as I'll appreciate being informed when your fleet is back in position. So rush out. I guess ignoring the boss runs in the family. Ignoring Suresh is always a good idea. Never knew you were so political. Our forces are preparing to launch. I should make sure ours are ready to do the same. It's strange. The next time we meet, our circumstances will be... quite different. Well, don't take it personally, but I'm hoping that you'll never see me again. <laughs> and I'll hope that I do. I'm gonna see if Satil needs any help. Catch me later. Well, our time has come, even sooner than I'd feared. Revan is gone. We've accomplished what we set out to do. But now we have an entirely new problem, and no truce to face it. I'm not afraid of the Emperor. He'll be taken care of soon enough. I wish I shared your optimism. What's next for the illustrious Jedi? It sounded as though your Grand Master is about to become quite busy. If you were to abandon the Sith, I imagine I'd be busy teaching you our ways. I'm afraid that won't be possible. I'm not at all sure what my future holds, but the future doesn't have to start for a while yet. For now, I'd like to make the most of the present. There's nothing I'd like more. I'm going to miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, Lana. Farewell. <laughs>